hello everyone so today we are going to learn how we can install the GNS3 if you see here I have the GNS3 here before and uh, now we have the upgrade version so I want to remove this I already uninstalled the GNS now I will remove the GNS VM and then we can install that one so if you want to remove you can remove directly also or you have this option you can remove here so I will remove this one so GNS is removed you have EVNG and you have the old EVNG new EVNG Kali Linux so already I downloaded that one you need to go to download folder yesterday I shown you how to download in the short so this is a GNS VM we will extract this one okay we will extract this and let me check I click extract all so we will extract this file so this is a GNS VM we have 2.2.53 so this one I am going to use so this one I extracted and we have one more thing we have the GNS here so this is a GNS I will install so this is a GNS we are going to use here and location where you want to install you can select the location I say next I say agree I say ok and location if you have any other location you can use that one so I have already I will go here in the virtual disk I have GNS VM so in this folder I can install ok I will select GNS VM folder and before that one if we have anything I can remove in that folder so here we have the virtual disk GNS VM this is the GNS before I have this file I will delete this so in this one I am installing now so if you see I will install this one and meanwhile we can go to the VMware workstation go to file click open and go here in download and open this and you can select this one <coughs> you need to give any name I will give GNS VM you can give any name and where you want to install this one same location I will take because I created one location I will install all the TV virtual thing there so if you see virtual disk inside that one I have GNS so I will take GNS VM there only and click import so it will do and meanwhile you can check the folder which is empty now you have all the files here so we can wait it will install it will take time this one is also installing yes you can say replace and agree they will install everything and we will wait for some time and here if you see GNS VM is already installed and here GNS is installing later we will see how to do the images how to connect the images or how to configure how to upgrade the images attach the images router image switch image but now just we will see how to install so I install I think what else is remaining everything is working here we can wait for some time till they finish okay so next I will click and no need for this one next and I will finish this so GNS is done here once you done the GNS here you can go in the desktop somewhere you will have the icon so you can see this is icon I will open the GNS here so GNS will open and meanwhile you can edit here and you can see here you have the 2 GB RAM if you want to increase you can increase processor one you have and this is a hard disk this is additional hard disk so I will take the default one whatever I am getting I will keep all the default one this GNS is started so now what I can do here in the GNS go to the preference in this in this one go to server enable this one already it is enabled now you need to integrate so here if you see enable the GNS VM in the VMware workstation we have so that one you need to select and here you need to select the GNS whatever you wrote in this one what name you give here if you see here what name you give for this one GNS VM this name you need to select here so by default it will come but sometime it will not come so you will select here and keep all default settings same as it is ok and then apply and click ok <coughs> so this will connect our GNS will connect to the GNS VM so it will connect here 
and here it will take some time then you have here blue screen and it will say okay that means it is connected properly after that you can install the images like router images switch images whatever you have you can see it is connected now so after that you can check here this gns is working here and gns vm is also working here here you have some more setting like if you want to change how it look you can change that look also and if you want to install the images you can install here the router images you can install here switch images if you have firewall you can install here firewall and if you have what we can say the uh, other images other vendor images like you have the juniper you can install here like that you can do here here i will show you if you want to install the router image you can go here and click here i install one here let me install the new one i will go here a better install in gns vm so i will go i will select that option and click next and here click new and browse the location where you have these images you can go there so i install just now this one so i can take this click here click yes and then wait for some time click next and click next click next click next whatever default setting is coming and click here ideal pc finder and wait for some time it will take time to do this ideal pc so it will not consume more ram after that you will click finish this way we will add the router and then we can in, uh, install the switch images also cisco switch images later we can do juniper also so let's see here it will take some time after that it will be okay so and uh, if you see you will have like this after that press ok and click finish so this one is install if you want to edit here you can click edit and if you want to change any different symbol you can select the different symbol like you want to give different color you can change the color you can change the icon how it look you can change that icon here so let's uh, when you click it will load you need to wait for some time after that we can select here so here you can see you have red color what you want to give you can type here what you need to give this is router so you can write router and which one you want example this one select this and click this apply okay okay this way we done and you can close this if you don't need this one no need and this one we can keep and here what i can do i can go again here in edit preference we done this router right two router we install if you want to change this icon also you can click edit and change here icon you can take the red color we taken so you can take the blue color it will take some time to load we need to wait for some time and then we can take we can select which one we need so it is come now you can see it came now you need uh, red color we taken so we can take blue color you have a square circle which one you need you can use that one you can write here router so your router will come you can select and click ok and apply and here if you want to do for switch you can click here and you can upload the license location will be the same means wherever you have that images you can select that location i have here this is a license so i upload the license and this is the images i will go here i will install the image so if <coughs> image name i will give switch one and browse this and go to the location where you keep and go there and go to the folder where you have the software and select the iou image this is a switch image you can go there and install whatever image you need you can install click this wait for some time then click finish so you have this if you want to change the color of this switch the logo then same thing like you will click and wait for some time you will select here which color you need and later if you want to add more interface or less interface we will do that also so here it will take some time we need to wait and you can select here example if you need red color right here switch select any switch here this icon will come here and then apply and if you want to add one more you can click and click next one switch is enough actually but if you need more you can take more also and browse here we taken this one so you can take this any one you can take and wait for some time and then finish and change the color here the logo we taken red so now we can take any other 
so let's see here <coughs> we need to wait for some time and here we can take you can write here switch and select which image you need you can select that one apply click ok later we will see name we need to change also we will see now click new blank project and give the name here i can give here basic lab in gns3 and click ok so this one is created the basic lab and if you click here you have the router so you can take one router here like this drag and drop you can take one more router so these two router came here and you can keep like this and take the switch also so take the to take the switch you can go here in this one and you can see you have the switch one and you have the switch two so this one you can connect and here if you see you are getting iou icon here so you can go to that switch and click edit configuration and where you have iou you can put here sw and click ok and now you can delete this and try to drag again and check so here you when you drag you have s1 and here also i will click edit and here i will remove i will put here sw okay now i will take this one become sw2 so now we can power on you can power on this device you can right click power on the device this one also you can power on this one also power on you can connect the cable from here to here okay and if you want to see the port you can click this so port will visible here and from here if you want to connect you can see here ports are available here and if you want to increase here the ports maybe here you have less port you can see here go to slot you have only one so you can add more slot here if you add more slot apply here and then you can take this and check here take this cable and click here and see you have one more slot so if you want more slot or default one you can go to the router this router right click and click config and go here in this one you can add more slot you can take this one whatever slot you need you can add there so like this one you can add and click ok and now take this router and check here <coughs> how many slot you have here you can right click power on this one ok and right click take the console of this router console will open here and here you can check also how many slot we are getting now we change here slot right in this router so it will boot up and then we can check also you can write here show ip interface brief and check here you have two slot so, but i think we add more right here let me go here in the configuration and check here we, okay this one we have only one where we add let's see maybe i did not save here if i go here okay i forget maybe to save the configuration here okay i taken this one let me click ok and now drag and check here how many slot i have here i can start other device i can switch off and this one i start i can take the console and here i can check how many slot i get here so like this with you can play with the slot add the slot remove the slot more slot you need you can add more slot and you can write show ip interface brief so you can see you are having the four slot here in this router so i configure here four slot what i done if you see here just right click and here i go in the slot i added this two okay same thing i can do here also maybe here also you have less if you do here you have more here okay you have more here so if i take drag this one and power on this and take the console of this one and check you will have the slot how many slot you have in this router you can check and also here you can go in the preference and you can change some setting also here like if you want to use this different look because you can change the look also appearance you can change there is some option here uh, if we check let's see where it is so we can change the look also this one is the normal thing only i remember we have here yeah okay here you have the look i think 
we can check here snap you have layer if I click this okay this logo will come there so I will uncheck this and I can uh, show grid so you will have this grid so no need for that one also you have a lot of option here to do that one and there is one more here somewhere I saw so this look look different little attractive later we will see somewhere we have inside somewhere I remember before I have changed that one but anyhow later we will see that now what we done here we take on this router right or we take the console yeah let's see here how many interface we have show IP interface brief and see you have this many interface so that is up to you what interface you need you can add also so this one is working now you can check the switch you can go here take the console of the switch and you can change here <coughs> in the switch right show VLAN brief and show a spanning tree so it is working perfectly so everything is working perfectly no issue okay so GNS3 we install and we configure if you want to stop click this it will stop all if you want to delete this all just go and click delete and it will delete all okay if you want to close click this it will close so that's all this way we will install the GNS3 and software also the images whatever we are using inside the GNS3 thank you